Albuquerque Public Schools has been working hard over the last couple years to clear out one of its storage lots at 2nd and Manal. But it's been challenging. And after a fire there yesterday, we're learning about a bigger problem the district is battling. News 13's Annalisa Pardo is live at that storage yard off Manal in 2nd. Kim, the district uses this site to store old portables it's trying to get rid of. You can see there is a fence around it, but that's not stopping people from getting inside and causing trouble. It's a place most people never think of that's becoming a little too inviting. I would say that over the last two years, we've seen an increase of issues. Issues like littering, drug use, and even a fire on Thursday. So we've had issues with the homeless breaking in and trying to use those portables for a place to stay uh, and to do other things. Everybody's struggling to deal with this really crisis that the city's facing. Elder says it's doing what it can to maintain the school district's storage yard for old portables near 2nd and Manal, like putting up fences and sending APS police officers to clean up trash and monitor the yard. We send our police down at least three times a week. APS is even trying to sell those portables to nonprofits so they can take them away and use them as shelters. We're here to to support that kind of initiative because it's beneficial to the community and it's beneficial to us. But those organizations need to raise money first. Legally, the district has to auction off the portables because of their state property. If I could get rid of all of them tomorrow, I'd be happy to do it. I, I really would because they're not they're not doing us any good. The neighbors don't want them there. We we understand it. Neighbors tell us they just want more communication on what's happening at the yard. Nothing has been shared with the neighborhood. And certainly if if they're if somebody's come in and lit fires or something, that's something we'd want to know about. I mean, we're a school district. We should be focusing on educating kids and putting money in the classroom. And here we are putting resources in to protect property. It's state property. We have to protect it. And the neighbors down there expect us to maintain as best we can. Now, the district is having more success these days selling those extra portables. It moved to an online auction system last year, which it says helped them sell 40 portables in a year. Kim? Okay, thanks, Annalisa. Now, the district says it will have to pay at least $6,000 to demolish and remove the three portables damaged in that fire yesterday. AFR says they do not have any suspects. The